During my classic research for another great video for my YouTube channel, I've stumbled upon a great article on the Men's Health website. Seven signs you might have a protein deficiency by our dearest Jordan Taylor. Hmm, let's look at the credential of this lady. Jordan Taylor has written articles such as Here's why you should be having sex in the morning. Hmm, nice. Eight reasons your balls hurt. Jordan, what a great source here. Or another one. The Hulk's exact strength has been a mystery. Until now. Until now, Jordan. And another great thing this lady stands for is that she finds burpees to be strangely relaxing. Okay, let's jump into the article. If you're on the paleo diet, you're probably loading up on protein. But if you're an average dude without a strict diet in place, or you follow a different kind of diet, like veganism, you could, be really, you could really be missing the mark, and that's very some. Your body needs protein to maintain energy and metabolic functions, as well as build stronger muscle. Well, is that so? Let's jump at a real credible source, which is the Global Burden of Disease Study. And if we search on protein on this bad boy, what a mystery. There is no results for it. How could that be if protein malnutrition was such a, such a huge problem? Why is it now written in the Global Burden of Disease Study? Hmm, let's see which other things have caused death in the last couple of years. Interesting, Jordan Taylor. Things such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, low fruit and vegetable intake, and also unsafe sex, which you've written about. <laughs> Back here, why do I have sex in the morning, Jordan, huh? Did you write about safe sex? I hope so, God Zinc deficiency also causes death. Vitamin A deficiency. And iron deficiency and anemia. Hmm, does meat seem to be the problem here? Or rather, the lack of a different nutrient. Let's take a look at 20 questions on atherosclerosis, which is another slightly more credible source than Our Lady Jordan Taylor. If we take a look down here, are human beings herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores? Although most of us conduct their lives as omnivores in that we eat flesh as well as vegetables and fruits, human beings have characteristics of herbivores, not carnivores. Hmm, interesting, Jordan. We've just previously seen that high blood pressure and high cholesterol are real problems. So what do we find here? Is atherosclerosis genetic in origin? Infrequently. Hmm, is atherosclerosis a consequence of aging and therefore a degenerative disease? No. And what evidence connects atherosclerosis to cholesterol, cholesterol which is only found in protein-rich animal products, the connection between cholesterol and atherosclerosis is strong. So the real problem here, Jordan, is not that we eat too little protein, because it couldn't, it couldn't even be found on the Global Burden of Disease study, it's that we eat too much protein-containing compounds, which are often animal products. And this whole debate can be traced back to Liebig, which is a German organic chemist in the 1850s and he wrote, he wrote things such as that nitrogenous compounds, also called protein, but it didn't have that name just then, was thought to be the fuel for muscle contractions. But nowadays we, we know that this is not true. Our muscles use fat, carbohydrates and creatine phosphate mainly as their fuel. Carbohydrate being the most important when it comes to intense exercise like weightlifting. So this article, 7 signs you might have a protein deficiency, completely misses the point. Because the problem in our current generation is not that we eat too little protein, it's that, it's that we eat too little vegetables, fiber and mineral rich foods, which truly create a problem as we see it in the global burn and disease study. But let's just see if the Men's Health website has another topic on vegetables. 
If you go back here and if you type in on search vegetables, one article that pops up is people are getting seriously sick from eating kale. <laughs> the f the f myself. Find out why this superfood is actually super poisoning. What is wrong, Manself? You, be, you used to be such a credible source when it comes to creating videos for my part. And what happened? What happened with your, with your articles? And all the other things in the article, like signs of potent efficiency, you're losing muscle and strength, can be linked to not enough calorie intake and just not enough proper weight training. Sign of potent efficiency, you're taking forever to heal. Healing is more closely related to, to the intake of micronutrients in your daily diet, as we've seen in the Global Burden of Disease study. Again, these seven points were just too broad and can, could probably be linked to everyone reading this article in some shape or form. It's normal to feel drained now and then. And if articles like that from, from our girl Jordan Taylor would just create more fear and promote an unhealthy lifestyle, because as these studies back here are telling us, they're telling us is that you should actually eat less protein and more kale.